another benefit of XLOOKUP when it arrives would be the fact that it makes secondary dependent drop downs much easier. So for example, if I pick color, my secondary drop down box is now a list of colors. If I pick vehicles, I've now got a list of vehicles in my secondary drop down. So let's see how I did this. The basics are you set up a table and the column headings are your primary drop down box, color, fruit and vehicles. And then the items are in there. I'm just going to use XLOOKUP. I'm going to go and reference the cell that I'm picking from my drop down box. So this is my primary box. Press F4 just to lock it in. Then I highlight my headers. And then the trick or the cool thing about XLOOKUP is I can actually return the entire or reference the entire block of the table. And whenever it finds a match, it now spills the result as a column. That's the clever bit. So if I change this to color, for example, my list will change. It's now the XLOOKUP is bringing back that column. Or if I go to fruit, the XLOOKUP function will now bring back the corresponding fruit column. Then we can get a little bit fancy and get rid of these uh, extra zeros. So what I'm going to do is the filter function. And the filter function is a new function coming soon into all versions of Office 365 for Excel. And it's part of the dynamic arrays. I'm just going to copy this line of code down. So what it's going to say is filter the result where the result doesn't equal zero. And that's it. Press enter and there's my zeros gone. And it's all dynamic. So as I toggle between different items, it'll automatically change. So let's add our validation. So here we go. It's going to go data validation list. And the source, if I click equals and go and click on the start of the dynamic array, I type hashtag. That then references the entire array dynamically. So this is a new functionality with dynamic arrays. So now I can pick an item from the fruit. And let me just format this so I can spot where it is easily. OK, so we've got the different fruits here. But then if I swap fruit to color, for example, XLOOKUP will bring back a different list. And the filter part will get rid of the zeros. So here's train under vehicle. Now I've got color. And the one bit I want to show you just to finish off is this alert box. So train is not a color. So I want to have a flag. And I'm going to use X match. So X match, click on the value I'm looking for. Click on the first cell in the dynamic array, press hash to reference the entire array. And train is not a color, so therefore shows NA. Train is not a fruit, therefore it shows NA. But if I pick vehicle, train is item four in the list and therefore shows up. So I'm just going to wrap that in, a, in an is number and then do an if is number. And if it's true, then put the word OK. But if it's false, I'm going to change it to must change, for example. And now this formula is my check. So when I change it to color, it says I must change. But if I pick fruit, the vehicle, it's working OK. And the only extra thing I did was add some conditional formatting and it all works beautifully. So go to xlookup.rocks for more information. Hope you find it useful.